some people living in Buckhead say they don't feel safe in their neighborhood anymore after a spike in crime. And there are a lot of Facebook groups right now detailing hundreds of cases of car break-ins and burglaries. If you have friends in Buckhead, you probably have had one of them regale stories about what they have been experiencing. This morning, former mayor and Buckhead Coalition President Sam Massell said that despite the recent spike, crime overall is down. Although Zone 2's crime rate is down 5% year to date, down 5% year to date, one crime is too many. But no one has learned how to eliminate these occurrences. Mr. Massell pointed to the efforts the Atlanta Police Foundation has made to bring down crime in the area. Here are a few that he listed. Centralizing the Zone 2 precinct, reducing nightlife hours, bumping up rewards, and conducting public safety forums. What's causing the spike? When we spoke to members of the crime tracking group, they said it is the fact that APD is down nearly 400 officers right now. Mm. But police say blames at least part of the crime on people leaving valuables in their cars and more lenient jail time for criminals compared to other counties. The Buckhead group says that needs to change. We don't have to feel like we're hijacked in our own city. Like we have to look over our shoulder every five seconds. There's, that's no way to live. Last month, the chair of the Buckhead Council of Neighborhoods, Mary Norwood, councilwoman, sent this letter to Atlanta Mayor Keisha Lance Bottoms questioning how the department is handling the spike. The Atlanta police chief responded calling the move political shenanigans. Tonight, the mayor's holding a town hall meeting with residents to address concerns that will be one worth hearing. Mm -hmm.